Thank you, uh, John, and everyone, and Natesh, uh, and all the speakers uh, and uh, the panelists in that last session is very, very interesting. Next, I would like to re uh, bring back Brian Smith uh, to um, discuss various dedications related to today. Brian? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Pelk. We often see uh, great leaders revered by everyone, except by many of those closest to them. Um, in contrast, Sam was revered most particularly, I think, by those closest to him, uh, such as his longtime colleagues and his lab trainees. Uh, really a, a blowtorch illuminating all these many, many great candidates, th these many, many candles in his uh, extended family tree. Um, and, and that much is clear from the number of, and especially the depth of the dedications and obituaries that have been written about him in many of the top journals in various fields. Uh, we already saw several touching dedications and talks such as Dr. Batia's. Um, and so I'm just gonna show a couple, of, uh, couple more. Um, the Journal of Nuclear Medicine, which was kind of his, I think he saw it as his home journal. Um, he ran several stories on Sam in memoriam. Um, in fact, he was the cover uh, of JNM. Um, about a year ago. And his molecular imaging and, and leadership accomplishments were also uh, described very beautifully um, in the European Journal of Nuclear Medicine, uh, the Molecular Imaging and Biology Journal, um, and Cancer Research. And you know, Sam's exploits uh, focusing more on the engineering and, and maybe nanotechnology sides um, were recently covered in memoriam in Nature Biomedical Engineering, uh, and nature nanotechnology. Um, finally, there have also been recent uh, research papers uh, that also have dedicated their work to SAM, um, including a recent one in uh, advanced functional materials and another uh, as described by Dr. Bhatia in nature materials. Um, and, and all of this really is to say, um, we, his, his trainees and his colleagues, miss him dearly. Um, please, uh, Dr. Gold, thank you. Thank you so much, Brian, and thank you to all the speakers in this uh, terrific session and indeed all the speakers today. Um, the talks and the discussion today, you've heard a great deal about Sam as a scientist, a clinician, a visionary, a mentor, and a person. And I think this symposium has been a really fitting tribute to his legacy. As we prepare to close the symposium, I'd just like to reflect for a moment on Sam's impact as a leader. Sam transformed the vision and scope of the radiology department at Stanford in a manner such that we are now aligned with his overall vision of molecular imaging, early disease detection, and precision health. And he did this in a very short amount of time, only a period of 10 years as he was chair. He's inspired many of our faculty, staff, students, and people in the community to follow that vision. I've spent the last 10 years working with Sam as a leader, and he was the best mentor I've ever had. I say mentor instead of boss or leader because I always felt like Sam was my mentor, constantly working to improve the leadership skills of myself and everyone around him. He was a natural born leader and a natural person to bring people together. Prior to working with Sam, I had not really led anything other than my own lab. And he really taught me everything I know about being a leader. Some of the things that I learned from Sam are that he understood people and deeply cared for everyone. Sometimes, even at Stanford, we deal with faculty who can be difficult, but Sam always looked at the positive qualities in everyone he interacted with. 
his generosity of spirit and willingness to spend time and energy with people was really boundless. His vision of leadership was that of a servant leader. He was always asking, what can I do to improve things for people? The faculty, the staff, the students, what can I do to improve the department, the School of Medicine, the university, and indeed the entire world? I really learned so much for him, from him. As an associate chair and vice chair, my internal mantra became every minute of Sam's time I can save is another minute he can spend curing cancer. He didn't ask me to do that for him. His vision, his selflessness, his warmth inspired me to want to help him achieve his goals in that way. He was an incredible mentor and dear friend, someone all of us can aspire to be. Thank you today for all the speakers, but most of all to Sam for your friendship, support, mentorship, and inspiration. We all miss him dearly. Thank you. And now I'd like to turn it over to Joseph Wu. Joe. Thank you, Gary. Um, like Gary, I want to sincerely thank each and every one of you for attending today's uh, symposium to celebrate uh, Sam's legacy. I want to thank the speakers and moderators uh, for taking time from their busy schedule uh, to partake in this event. I also want to thank uh, Katie Pontius and Ashley Williams for assisting Gary, Norbert, and I in organizing uh, this uh, year's uh, event. I hope to see all of you uh, next year as we continue this tradition of celebrating Sam's legacy. Lastly, I also want to thank Aruna, who has suffered the most, but has remained so strong and so brave uh, throughout. Aruna, you are a courageous woman, wife, and mother who deserves all the love and blessings. Thank you for your generosity for sharing Sam with us. We hope you can take comfort knowing that Sam has touched lives so many people, we're very grateful for you and want to know that you have all of us, especially Sam's trainees as your family. Thank you, Aruna. Back to you, Nobu. Thank you, Joe uh, and Gary. Uh, I want to add my thanks to the speakers and moderators, presenters, uh, and to the staff who ensured that this complex production went flawlessly. It's been a phenomenal day, blending recollections and personal stories involving Sam with leading edge uh, science related to Sam's vision. With respect to the former, we heard stories about Sam's amazing trait of caring sincerely and deeply about individuals' welfare. If you went to Sam with a personal problem, he would drop whatever he was doing and focus on you and your concern, as, as Gary uh, spoke. Uh, it was not only true with trainees, but senior colleagues, as, as Gary described. And I have my own uh, recollections. Um, in 2012, when I had the opportunity to become chair of bioengineering, Sam's wisdom, insight, and input were instrumental in my deliberations and eventual decision to accept the position it would not have happened without Sam. The second thread of the day, Sam's vision in science, we heard from an exceptional group of scientists, really a who's who in the field, and the content was truly inspiring. I would like to echo comments meant, uh, made earlier in, in the day today that we should use this opportunity to redouble our efforts to bring Sam's vision to reality the task being nothing less than improving human health and welfare. Uh, one last programmatic point on the chat page, you can find a link to a survey on your thoughts about today's program. 
The link will also be sent by email to all, all of you who have registered for the program. Please fill out the survey. Your input is very important. In the coming weeks, you will also receive a link to the recording of today, uh, today's symposium. In closing, thank you all for your participation. And on behalf of all of us, I wish you well.